Hello. In this devotional, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from Luke chapter 19, verses 37 through 40, where we are going to look at the triumphal entry. Luke 19, 37 through 40 says, As he was drawing near, already on the way down the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of his disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the very stones would cry out. The triumphal entry begins the Passion Week. It is when the Lord enters into the city of Jerusalem with all of his disciples coming before, shouting, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. When this is occurring, we see a picture of how people respond to Jesus. We'll see how different people experience Jesus and how that has an impact on what they say and the things that they do. Here are three thoughts from Luke 19, 37 through 40. Thought number one, Jesus' disciples celebrated. Jesus' disciples were so happy that the Lord was coming into Jerusalem. And there might have been some anticipation that he was going to usher in the kingdom of God, which might have been a political revolt. And it might have been something a little less violent, maybe just a return of fidelity to faithfulness to the law for the people of Israel, we're not exactly sure. But of all the different people who were following Jesus, of his disciples, when he was going into Jerusalem to celebrate the feast, they all came and they all celebrated. They were so happy that the Lord was coming into Jerusalem, that he was going to participate in the Passover with them. When we walk along with Jesus... If we are his disciples, we celebrate. Thought number two, Jesus' enemies complained. There were some folks in Jesus' day who were losing face, losing influence, losing popularity because of Jesus, who he is, what he can accomplish, and what he meant for the people of Israel. And those people oftentimes became enemies of Jesus Christ. They were often Pharisees, they were scribes, they were Sadducees, they were teachers of the law. They were folks who were losing influence because of the things Jesus was saying and the things Jesus was doing. When they see Jesus entering the city and they see all of his disciples celebrating along with him, they complain. They complain that Jesus isn't acting appropriately, that he isn't constraining his followers, that he isn't making sure that they behave in the way that good, respectable people behave. Jesus' enemies will complain about what his followers do. Thought number three, Jesus' creation prepared. When Jesus responds to the Pharisees who are complaining about his disciples in celebration, Jesus points out to the Pharisees that if they were silent, that the rest of creation would rejoice. That if his disciples weren't celebrating, the rocks and the trees would begin to cry out. And he's pointing out that all of creation recognizes him as Lord. That in his work, in his sacrificial death, he redeems not only his people, but he redeems the whole of creation. And he brings it back to that state of innocence that it experienced prior to the fall. This is why Jesus' entrance into Jerusalem is such a remarkable event. His disciples celebrate, his enemies complain, and his creation is prepared to celebrate if nobody else would. These three thoughts come to you from the reading Luke 19 through 20. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by joining the Facebook group, Through the Bible, where we are reading the text of Scripture together.